Water moves us. The Dorchester County slogan. The county was established in the late 1600s, continues to flow forward. Most would agree that one way to ensure success later on is to train your younger generation now. And that's what's happening at the Dorchester Career Technology Center. Students are training in the trades. This way, when the baby boomers retire, they'll have the skills needed to take over local and important jobs. Delmarva Life's Katie Zarilli shows us some of the important lessons being learned. Janaya Ward might not look like your average mason, but laying bricks is a skill the 12th grader wanted to try her hand at, and one she found she can do quite well. Yes, I'm girly. I'm a girly girl, but I want to like try something different. Janaya is one of about 400 students who attend Dorchester Career and Technology Center in order to tackle the trades and perhaps pinpoint a path of profession. They treat me like the guys now even though I'm still a girl, but it's fun here. DCTC is a shared time center offering 18 different programs in 10 varying career clusters. We have construction, transportation, human services. Uh, we have environmental, we have uh, biomedical, uh, uh, arts, media, and communication. Kermit Hines is the school's principal. He says an early exploration of trades like these is crucial for these students because having a direction now will make a big difference in their futures. It's, I think it's important for them to have an idea so that they can build a foundation of, of knowledge and of the skill set that's going to take them to that next level. And much like myself, we're, we're flooded with a bunch of baby boomers that are going to be retiring, and we need this youthfulness to be able to come in and replace us. Thomas Frazier is already ahead of the game as far as being one of those replacements. He's also in 12th grade and is currently participating in the school's youth apprenticeship program. DCTC works with the Maryland Departments of Education and Labor and local employers to provide students the opportunity to go to work, get paid, earn credit, and perhaps most importantly, have that foot in the door for a life after graduation. Um, I got some plans to hopefully go work at GKD with the, after the apprenticeship, and that's what I plan on doing. Thomas is one of two apprentices who will finish in May. Six more began this month. I'm seeing these young people having conversations about their future in a very unique way that you would not necessarily get in a standard classroom. It's very rare to come off an opportunity like that and I'm very thankful for it. But guess who else benefits? The businesses. You already know about this county's desire to bring in and build businesses. This is a way to prepare the personnel. The idea to do it almost in a grassroots type of way where we're using students who have been uh, have gotten their education here in Dorchester County Public Schools and then offering them viable work opportunities and vocational opportunities seem to be a no-brainer to us. And so on the outside, this large building may appear as simply a center for an alternative education. But when you walk through the doors and speak with the faculty and staff, you'll find a team dedicated to economic development. I want to see this center be a conduit that's going to bring additional businesses to Dorchester County. And to creating a culture where youth can thrive. I want this community to be a better place for the young people that we serve. And so, you know, it's important that we coordinate with agencies, and we coordinate amongst each other, uh, whether it's education, whether it's the workforce, whether it's chamber, we all need to work together so that we're making it a better community for our young people. Because when people like Janiyah develop attitudes like this in their transformative teen years. Go for it. Like, why not? It's your life. You live it to the fullest. It's only when you only got one life to live. And why not do it? Anything is truly possible. And if business members are interested in partnering with the center in the apprenticeship program, Lynn says they can contact her directly at the center or contact the Department of Labor.